Why are beginner combos a thing? Now, don't get me wrong, combos have their uses. My problem is with beginner combos. Beginner combos are serving less and less a purpose as technology grows and gets smaller and better. I don't wanna be the old man in the room, but back in my day, we only had PV Rages, and that was the only combo we had. And if you didn't like it, well, you played acoustic. The first amplifiers ever made were combo amps. They were made for amplifying lap steel and Hawaiian style instruments back in the 30s. As things got louder and louder in the 60s, you saw the advent of the Marshall stack and just louder and louder everything. But what always remained was small student combos and practice amplifiers that were geared towards the beginner guitarist. And this made sense at the time. But then good old ma technology came along and started to, well, kind of poop in its cereal, so to speak. These days, you can fit your amplifier collection in a cell phone. And the modern guitar apps sound good. So if those sound so good, then why would I want to haul this damn thing around? It sounds like crap. No, no, seriously though, it's, <laughs> it's, <laughs> yeah. It's only been in recent years that the student beginner combo amplifier has become less relevant. It's, it's not really relevant in today's market. Show me a guitar player with a computer and I will show you a guitarist with at least some free plugins or Amplitube or something that they are plugging their, their guitar into and have some headphones and they're playing late at night and not bothering anybody, unlike what I used to do. I used to bug the hell out of my parents. And isn't it weird to think that the younger players today have never even owned a combo? I mean, sure, maybe they've gotten one for like a Christmas present or something like that, but they don't ever use it. It just sits and collects dust and they, they put their bongs on it or something. Relax, relax, I'm in Washington. That kind of thing's legal here, okay? But my point still stands, why are there so many beginner entry level guitar combos? Now the big boy combos, the two power and the country guys and the real expensive ones, there's always gonna be a place for combo amplifiers. I'm not knocking combo amplifiers. And I would also like to point out that I am not knocking or including travel amps like the Yamaha TH series, the little square rectangular guys. Those have a use. Those are for travel. Those are for in a hotel room or something like that. This thing is heavy and big and expensive and it sounds like crap. This, why is there a speaker? The, the speaker it serves no purpose in this thing. Maybe some of these companies think that they have to put out combos or continue to put out combos. I mean, I can't help but think that Line 6, for example, feels like they should just come out with another spider because they sold tons of them back in, you know, 2003 or 2002. They should come out with another one now. Let's come out with a new one that doesn't really do much and isn't innovative and doesn't sound good in any way, but we're gonna put it out. Once upon a time, the entry-level combo served an absolute present market. You had the pig nose amplifiers, you had the original Roland Cube amplifier, you had crate amplifiers that actually came in a wooden crate. And all these were wonderful options for entry-level guitarists, but they didn't have cell phones then, or lots of other cool stuff, like locking tuners or Axe Effects. Anyways, anyways, I'm getting off track. My question is, why are there still beginner combo amplifiers? There's no reason. Sure, they're inexpensive comparatively, but are they really? I mean, a guitar app is $9.99 in the app store. And then the adapter is $9.99, so that's $30 for awesome guitar tone that you can record records with. I mean, that doesn't make any sense because I'm supposed to go buy the $199 combo with a bunch of crappy digital effects and uh, something that I can't even control with my phone and dial a tone at the same time. So why would I want that silly, stupid app? <laughs> Just ditch the combo, always get the app. I think it's time for us as guitarists to kind of move on. It's time to move on and ditch the old school mentality of there needs to be entry level guitar combo amplifiers. They don't serve any purpose. We could put so much more time and energy into other stuff like breakfast sandwiches. What do you guys think? Is there really any place for an entry level student combo amplifier these days? Leave a comment down below and let me know. Let's talk about it, shall we?